we just saw uh, that the new operator can be used for internal tables and structures but new is also used to define the objects of the classes so in this video we'll see how we can do those declarations and how we can use the new operator for the classes let's comment whatever we wrote in the previous video i'll just comment it control 7 and then we'll we'll copy this guy and we'll say this is 21.2 new operator for class objects okay for that we'll we'll define a, a simple local class with one method and then call it uh, from the object so let's see how we can we can achieve that so I'll, I'll define a simple class um, say uh, class lcl uh, class i'll give a name definition you know how to do that end of class and then we'll define some public so public section you have protected and then you have private so what is the difference between them it's it's it tells us about, the, about us about the visibility so that's a basic course in oops oops above so i'll just define one variable which is publicly available so type say care i want it to be a little longer 50 and value say i'll give introduction to to adapt 7.4 for hana or s for hana all right that's one variable and let's declare another variable say lv class uh, type again care 50 we may not use it but i'll just declare it in case we want to use two variables value i'll say what i am in above 7.4 uh, class okay just just for the sake of declaring it and then we'll define a method methods show name and then i will say methods show class all right so our oh why is this red okay so we have done the definition now we need to define the implementation the so class lcl class implementation and class okay and then we'll define the first method i mean thod method so show class or show name and method and in the method we'll just do one write statement right this is the show name is a method and just give a full stop and we should start with the quotes why this another extra quote and then i'll say right I'll, I'll give something so i'll give five characteristics i'll say i'll write lv name so what will be lv name lv name will be introduction to web 7.4 all right okay this is one method now let's define another method so next method is method show class and method and i'll do the same thing um, i'll just copy this guy I'll just copy it and i'll just change instead of name i'll say class and instead of show name i'll say show class all right so our class and definition and implementation is done now we need to use it in object so we'll say start of selection all right and in start of selection so i'll, I'll show you how um, we do in old method so uh, 
old method so old method to define our object is a data obj1 type uh, ref2 say i'll say l uh, class CLSS and then we'll do create ob object obj1 and then we'll say call method obj1 and then we'll give show name or show class whichever you want so what it does it will just call this show name and then print these two things this is the show name method and lv name and what is there in lv name lv name has this introduction to abap so let's let's test it so as expected this is the output this is the show name method and introduction to abap 7.44 s4 hana so this was in the old way now let's check how we can do old way means this one we had to write three lines of code let's see how we can do with the new method using new operator okay so we'll say a again say new method so instead of defining the data we'll just say data and we'll say obj2 for example and we'll say equals to new operator and new with lcl class so this will understand that okay this is a uh, object of class lc class and now we can directly use call method call method obj2 and we'll say show name so both both the outputs of okay why is this showing an error new class oh i forgot to put the bracket right this is important so you if you say new class um, you have to give a bracket here just like just like you you wrote new mm, tt underscore po new table uh, type of po and then you had a bracket right uh, when we did for the table type declaration using new similarly for new classes you have to new this is the class uh, type and then bracket okay and then it will create so let's let's test it activate and test it check the output both of them both the uh, objects give the same output so so this is the old method which has three line of code and this is the new method which has just two line of code so if it's a big program and you just try to reduce one line out of code uh, at a time it will still be a great reduction so this is really useful and really handy and you do not need to worry what this object type will be it will directly take it from here okay just like the value operator or the new operator in for internal table we can use the new operator with hash or without hash so here we show showed you without hash now let's say and then let's do the same thing with hash so for hash say obj3 uh, equals to new and then we'll give a hash and we'll give bracket nothing else okay this should work and then we should be able to show the obj3 we have to click and show show name but um, we forgot one thing because when you give a hash the left hand side determines the structure so in case of internal table so and here we did not specify the class name after the new so when you use the hash addition to the new the system would determine the type of the class of the variable on the left hand side but what we have not done till now is we have not defined the variable or the class type here so that we have to do using um, just like define the normal class you say data uh, obj3 type ref to lc class so now it should be good clean why is red lcl class okay so when we don't want to give the type here in, in you want to use a hash then you have to give a type on the left hand side so left hand side is type is this so it is good so now if you test it all three class object one object two and object three should have the same out so as, as expected the output is same in all the three um, types so so object one object two and object three all will all has the same one so there is one more variation so i'll say variation four uh, 
I'll just type it. So I'll say new LCL class show method show name and this and then full stop LCL class um, okay I missed a bracket over here now it's good so let's do one more time new LCL class I'll get to this and then I also have another method so class and then so how uh, activate this so this is good so how is it different how is it different from the above two so so in this case the so we can see that the object can be instantiated and respective methods can be executed without actually receiving the objects reference back to any variable so we are not putting any variable here just like in our case we had this variable object 3 or object 2 but in this case we are using directly so we are not using any variable for the object class so how does it behave so in this case the object would be created temporarily and would be available in the memory during the execution of the statement so so whenever this statement is reached a temporary object will be created and executed so let's let's test it so, so the output is as expected you see this 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 two output is from the last new class which we which creates an object uh, at runtime and then executes the methods so this is the uh, all these three uh, are from the above cases but this is from the last cases where we use the new statement right hope hope you are clear with the new statement so new for the internal table and new for the class is almost same where new with hash we use then the left hand side will uh, de determine what the object type or the class will be and when you don't use a hash then you have to explicitly define the class name okay just like an intern table you have to explicitly define the table type if you don't want to use hash and if you use hash then the left hand side should be defined all right hope hope this is clear